and let us see what is there in this question. The energy level diagram for an atom has a four energy states and they are shown here. You can just write it as n is equal to one, two, three, and four. What is the number of different wavelengths in the emission spectrum? In the emission spectrum, just a moment. Uh, the systems are, you know, like they're hanging now. I don't know what is happening these, these days. So not able to move myself. But emission spectrum of this uh, uh, atom. Fine. So you need to find the number of different wavelengths. And you are not going to find what is the wavelength. They are just asking you how many number of wavelengths will be there. It means like, let us say you're talking about uh, absorption spectrum. There are like these lines that you're getting. There is a diagram in your book. You can check it out. So this is, these are black lines on the colored background. This is called absorption spectrum. Emission spectrum is the other thing. Like when there is a black background and you have colored lines, that is emission spectrum that they are referring to. But anyways, so either of it, the question is like how many lines will be there in the spectrum? Because each and every line is referring to one different energy and the formula for the energy is HC by lambda. H and C are both constant, so wavelength. It means that if there are three different or four different uh, uh, lines that are there, so these lines are referring to four different wavelengths that, they are, that are produced because these are four different colors, isn't it? So this is having a different wavelength, this is having a different wavelength. It means that the question what question wants to ask you is that you are coming from like, let us say you are coming, jumping from four to one. How many different ways the jump can take place like four to one directly. So one wavelength, one radiation will be there and all of this energy will be released in one photon. So accordingly, you can apply this formula and find the wavelength. It is a possibility that it would be jumping from four to two and then it will go from two to one. There is a possibility that it will go like this and then it goes directly. There is a possibility it will go like this, this, and this. So these are all the possibilities. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, there is a repeat telecast. Uh, we are not going to consider this, and we are not going to consider this. Yes, because that was repeated. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six lines, and hence the answer will be C. Get him a point. But this is not the right method of calculating how many lines will be there. Yes, this is the correct explanation. Like you create a fifth, a fifth shell here and you would be doing the same thing. You can find number of this, but that is not a proper method, isn't it? What is the proper method of finding these lines? I'm going to give you another formula now, which is again not given in the data booklet. Never it is talking, talked about in any of the books. And I'm sure that uh, you, you don't know this formula. What is this formula? So number of lines or number of wavelengths that you are going to get in emission spectrum. It is given by N2 minus N1 into N2 minus N1 plus 1 divided by 2. Straightforward. Like you just remember this formula. Formula is not given anywhere I know. Just remember this formula and these kind of questions, they're all falling in your kitty. So you are going from four to one. So four minus one and four minus one is three. So three plus one is four divided by two. This comes out to be two. This is three. So three into two is a six and your answer is six. So this is the right method of doing it. Like, yeah, you can do, do this. That is the proper explanation why six lines are there. How come six lines are there? But this is the formula that is created by mathematicians. No. So we have to use this formula directly and you get the answer as six. Okay, dear students, this is Professor Varun. Thanks for joining. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share the video with all your friends and join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper to questions. Okay, then all the best. Bye.